It should be pretty clear by now that I like Godot, and I'm not using Unity in any real capacity. While I have tried to use Unity a few times, it never really clicked with me, whereas Godot, for whatever reason, clicked with me nearly immediately. Now I'm going to discuss why I think this happened, and the things that I like about Godot that make it better suited for me than Unity. Now this might seem a bit silly right off the bat, but starting up Unity, I'm greeted with a kind of gross-looking grey interface, with a big blue box and a bunch of squashed and crowded buttons, numbers, and scroll bars littering the window. This isn't a great first impression, and although it's arguably the most superficial reason possible for why I personally prefer Godot, it still ultimately makes a difference. Godot, on the other hand, has a lovely, sleek, nearly minimalistic design when you first open the project. It doesn't appear anywhere near as overwhelming as Unity does, since a lot of the extended functionality is hidden behind a few tactfully placed buttons that you can investigate on your own time without being waterboarded with icons right off the bat. Another reason why I think Godot happened to gel really well with me is that in contrast with Unity, everything in Godot is laid out clearly as being a node. This allows a very modular, logical kind of thinking. While Unity is still built on entities and things like that, it kind of feels a bit more like a weird, tangly mess, because it's not built with the strict and logical tree structure that Godot uses. I know this makes a big difference to me, and it's kind of a mindset that I really enjoy working with, the idea that I know exactly where and how a node is placed with respect to other nodes in the scene is super useful when I'm thinking about how to solve a problem, fix a bug, or implement a new feature. I'm a big fan of modular design. Now for the more, I guess you could say, ideological reasons. It should come as no surprise to any of you that I'm a big fan of open source stuff. I use Caden Live to open, uh, edit this video, I use Mozilla Firefox, uh, Acerprite's GPL fork, Linux, and I'm a big fan of itch.io, even though I only got really into that in the past month or so. Like all of the above, the Godot engine is open source and free software. It's licensed with the MIT license, which means that if I really wanted to, I could opt to not even export my games as standalone executable and just redistribute it with a fully functional copy of the Godot engine with which to open the project file and it'd be totally legally permissible. By contrast, if you did this by Unity, lawyers will take your eyes and your knees. Both of them. They'll take them. In the past, I have opened up the engine to fix a few issues that I've run into. I've made a total of seven contributions to the engine on GitHub, though one of those was on an old account so it doesn't show up under my new one. Unfortunately, with Unity, I have no such freedom. Sure, you could argue that Unity is less likely to have any bugs due to it being a much larger dedicated development team, but if you do it, uh, run into a bug like that, then it's a real bad feeling to just be out of luck. At least with Godot, I can open up the source code and mess around for a while until I'm able to bridge the gap in a way that fits my use case. And if I fix it in a really elegant way that I think everybody else might benefit from, I can submit it as a pull request. I'm not saying that if you don't want to do this you're a bad person, a fake game developer, and should quit game dev forever to work as a beekeeper. All I'm saying is that this is the way that I like to solve problems that I encounter in game development and it works for me. If this sounds good to someone who's a bit on the fence, then come join us over in Gadoo land. It's cosy, we get to watch all the banished game developers keep bees. Another reason I like Godot is that to me, someone who doesn't really understand corporate structure and licensing and weird stuff like that, uh, it's a lot simpler for the rules to be do whatever you want and ask the guys who made it if you need help. With Unity, you have to go through their support channels and you're talking with real employees who are paid a salary to keep their composure and behave nicely and, I don't know, just kind of removes a nice personal human element. Maybe that's just me, and almost certainly that's just me, but I really enjoy the close community feeling that surrounds Godot. I recognise a bunch of maintainers, and not to brag, but Akian, one of the higher-up maintainers, likes my tweets occasionally. Uh, that's more or less all I've got for now. I could ramble on for a while, but I feel like the rest of my points are not that interesting. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos wherein I talk about an engine that I really have like nearly no experience with, as if I'm some kind of authority. Goodbye.